everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with MarvelousNews.com, your number one news source for everything Marvel. And for today's review, we're going to be taking a look at the brand new 112 Collective Shadowland Daredevil figure from Mezco Toys. Now, this figure is being offered as a New York Comic Con exclusive. It comes packaged in this square box. You've got the DD logo on the front and the 112 Collective logo up at the top. You've got a little sticker for the Comic Con exclusive, and down below you have the name of the character. On the side, again, you just have the Daredevil logo, and then on the back you have some artwork showing Daredevil. All right, let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside the packaging along with all the other contents. So first of all, we get the little plastic bag like we always see with these 112 Collective figures so you can store all the other accessories that come with it. We also get the typical flight stand and figure stand like we see. So you get the circle base and this one's black with the DD in red. And you've got the little peg so that you can just stand the figure on there like a regular figure stand if you want. And the figure's got two peg holes on the bottom. Or you can pop this little peg out, and the easiest way to do that is take this little flight arm, the end of it, and just push it through from the bottom, and that'll push the little peg out. And then once you do that, then you can plug this uh, flight arm in there, and then this can become a flight stand so that you can put Daredevil in, in jumping and, and swinging poses. And you've got the little clamp so it holds the figure nice and tight. And you've got articulation here so this clamp goes back and forth and then it goes up and down here and up and down here and back and forth here. And of course you can rotate it. Now with this particular figure we also get this extra piece for the figure stand. You can see it's this little extended arm piece. And what this is for is we also get this disc, this red disc that's got these circular uh, sculpting on it and this is supposed to mimic his sonar, his heightened senses that he uses to see. So what you do is you just, uh, there's a little hole on the back of this piece and you just plug it into this little extra arm and then you, what you want to do is you want to just clamp it onto the top here, this thick part. This part of the arm down here is too thin so you can't, you can't do it here but this part up here is thick enough that it'll pop right on and stay on there nice and tight and then you just put that circle disc on there and then you just kind of maneuver it like that and then you can take the figure and stand them so now it's behind his head and it looks like you know he's he's using his sonar we also get two different versions of his signature billy club weapon and this one has this wire attaching the two handle pieces and again it's just a wire, black wire piece and the handles are done with red and you've got some metallic silver on the tips of them and so this one you can use to kind of like swing around or look like he's swinging around. Then we get a pair without the wire. The handles look exactly the same but don't have the wire attached to it. And then he's also got a working holster for these uh, non-wired pair. So you just slide those in and they fit nice and tight there in the little holster. And if you have the grip hands in, then you can see he'll hold the billy club nice and tight. And then finally with this one, we get six different pairs of hands. We get a pair of closed fisted hands, and these are the ones that are attached to the figure when you first take it out of the packaging. Then you get a pair of open hands, then you get a pair where the pinky and the index finger are out and the thumb's kind of out. You get a pair of grabby hands. You get a pair of, I guess he's got the P symbol or something. I don't know what these are really supposed to be for, but he's got the two, uh, his first two fingers sticking up. And then finally a pair of grip hands. And these are all black and you've got some shiny black paint on the top over the knuckles for like a leather look. So I think they're pretty nice sculpting detail on those. The hands, it's easy. You just pull off the hand you want to replace and you've got the peg attached to the arm and the hole on the hand. And then you want to just plug in the new hand that you want to replace it with. And that peg can move around a little bit on you, but it'll uh, fit on there pretty good. And once you get it popped on, the hand fits nice and tight. 
For the figure itself, I think this figure looks pretty good even though it doesn't look 100% like the Shadowland costume we see in the comic book. The big difference is with the DD on his chest is shaped differently and then he's not wearing this big belt in the comic books. But I like the way this belt looks. I like the metallic silver on the belt buckles and you've got some wash on the red. I like the sculpting detail with the pouches on the side. I think that looks good. I also like the sculpting detail on these little uh, wrist bracelets that he's wearing. And again, you've got some wash effect on the red. The face sculpt I think looks good. Good skin tone. He's got the red eyes. You've got the horn sculpted on there. You've got some extra sculpting with this uh, little strip that goes from ear to ear on the back of his mask. And I think that looks pretty good. The costume itself is a cloth material like we always see with the 112 Collective figures. Most of it looks like a leather type material, but the inner portions look more like cloth here on his inner arms and his torso section and his legs. So I like how that kind of uh, looks with the, with the more leather looking material as well. You got some stitch work here on the side of the leg which looked pretty good. The stitch work on the back here you can see some strings sticking out a little bit but that's not too major. Then he's got these uh, shoulder pads with some sculpting detail and he's got some elbow pads and these are both hard plastic as well as the knee pads that he has. And then boots again you have some sculpting detail with the line work and buckles and everything. So this figure stands at about a six and a quarter inches tall. Here's a comparison with the San Diego Comic Con exclusive 112 Collective Captain America figure. Here's a comparison with the Hasbro Marvel Legends 6 inch Daredevil figure. So the articulation is pretty good. It's limited in a few places because he's got the cloth costume on like we see with all these figures. But he can turn his head good back and forth and he's got good up and down movement there. You've got movement with the lower part and the upper part of the neck. You can pivot the head to the left and right as well. So good head movement overall. Arms attached with standard hinge, ball hinge joints and he can get his arm out pretty good even with the shoulder pad. You can't really rotate the arms all the way around because the costume gets uh, twisted up but you can do the arm back and forth good feels like he's got a bicep swivel in there he's got a double hinged elbow so he can bend his elbow pretty good he's got the rotation with the wrists and he's got a little bit of up and down movement with the hands not a whole lot um, you've got a midsection joint feels like he's got a midsection joint so he can crunch down a bit there he's got some rotation there as well and he can look back a little bit can also uh, bend forward forward here at the waist and back a bit there and kind of pivot to the left and the right legs he can do the splits good he can get his leg forward pretty good and he can do his leg back about that much has a thigh swivel it feels like double jointed knee so good bending at the knee uh, for the boots you can kind of turn it a little bit here at the boot cuff and then you've got rotation with the feet you've got some up and down movement with the feet and does have some ankle pivot not a whole lot but you can pivot it back and forth a bit and then two peg holes on the bottom of it okay so that's my review overall I like this figure like I said before even though this doesn't look 100% like the Shadowland costume from the comic I think the figure overall looks good I like the sculpting with the head sculpt I like the belt I think that looks good on it I do think it would have been kind of cool and made the figure a little more unique looking if they had given him more of a Shadowland type DD symbol on his chest as opposed to just the regular Daredevil's uh, D's but still overall I think this is a nice looking figure and one you'll want to add to your collection. Now this figure is offered as a New York Comic Con exclusive however you can pre-order it on their website now and it should start shipping I think next month so if you're not attending Comic Con you can actually still pick this figure up. We'll have a full image gallery up at MarvelousNews.com there'll be a link in the video description below. As always leave a comment let us know what you think if you're so inclined please like the video. Also if you haven't already please follow me on my Facebook, Twitter and Instagram accounts I'll have links to those in the video description as well. And until next time, I'll catch you later.